I'm Caleb Brooks with the AHSA Radio Network. I'm at Spain Park High School. I'm joined by Sarah Ashley Barker, a senior member here of the Spain Park girls basketball team at Georgia Signee. And, uh, you know, I got to talk to you this past summer yes, down sir. at the uh, North-South game, and you had a good performance down there playing in that. You're having a good season so far, playing for your team here in, in your uh, season se senior season. And, uh, you know, for you, obviously, you know, you, we've talked about your family and, and you know, all, all the attention that you get. But, you know, you've been able to live up to the hype, and you've been able to, you know, come out and, and you know, be able to play really well this season. What is it that, you know, is allowing you to kind of carry over and probably play better this year right. than you even were a year ago? Right. Um, I think it's just staying in the gym and having that confidence that, you know, each and every night is going to be different. The defense is going to set up different. And just, you know, we have a phrase uh, in our program, no matter how good you are, just be normal. Don't do the, fa the fancy plays. Don't do the extravagant, all that kind of stuff. Just, just be normal and get, take what the defense gives you. Obviously, when you have uh, the accolades that you've gotten, you you know you everybody knows you're an SEC signing things yes, like sir. that. People game plan for you, right, and, and, and you know they're looking to stop you. Mm -hmm. um, how have you kind of had to adjust your game to how people have adjusted their game to you? You know, it's you never know what kind of defense is going to set up towards me. They might go a box and one. They might go just play me tight and that kind of stuff. You kind of have to each and every game just when the game is starting, you got to figure it out and figure out, okay, if they're going to play me tight, you're going to get a ton of drives because they're not going to let you shoot as much and that kind of stuff. So you kind of use how they're playing you to your advantage and that kind of stuff. And I mean, just trusting my teammates to make shots. Have you seen your other teammates yeah. benefit yeah, um, I mean, from people yeah, kind of um, focusing on you? Like Camille, she, uh, she's been shooting the ball like really well the past like week and that kind of stuff and even throughout the season she had a concussion so that kind of backed her up but now she's back on to where she was at the beginning of the season and that kind of stuff and just knowing like even if they're not knocking down shots I'm, I'm still going to pass the ball out to them because we shoot all the time that I know that they'll get that shot down. You know um, when you look at you know the landscape of 7A girls basketball you obviously Hoover's right there right, and they've been dominating everybody mm -hmm. but what do you think it's going to be about this team that, you know, allows you guys to possibly knock them off and, and you know, right. take the crown from them? Well, you know, first off, we got to get past um, area and get past Hewitt and Vestavia and that kind of stuff. Those are two really good teams. And like what happened last year, you, I mean, we beat, them, we beat Hewitt four times. They beat us that fifth time. You can't really look ahead just because the games you've won. You got to take each game uh, every step of the way. And then, but you got to, we got to get past them before we can get to Hoover. You know, and, and looking at your area, obviously Hewitt made it mm -hmm. and played for a state championship, and, and you know you guys were right there with the right. opportunity at playing for it. And then you know Vestavia, a really good program yes, as sir. well. What is it about your team that makes you confident in the fact that you feel like you know y'all are better than them and y'all yes, can get past them? In yes, area? I mean, I, I do believe that if you look at their players and our players, that we have a better team. But you know, you still got to show up each night, and I think that just putting that in in all of our t all my teammates heads that you got to come out and play hard you got to like everyone's coming for us mm -hmm. and you got to go for them now and so i think just staying together and doing what we're doing you know even though we're playing really good basketball right now we can be better we had some really bad mistakes last night that you know can affect a team say like hoover or something like that mm -hmm. that you got to look at that type of thing so you know coming up just short the way that you guys did a year mm -hmm. ago what was the motivation like all off season going into this year you know when i was a freshman we came up short in the state championship and i think that we used that um motivation how we came in the next year to help us this year and that kind of stuff just for me having the experience of what it was like in the weight room in conditioning and that kind of stuff coach chase works our butt off and and you know each and every day was a grind mm -hmm. and you know, when if you go on and win games and stuff like that, you never look back and be like, oh, that day was so hard. You're thankful for that because that's gotten us to where we are now. Yeah, and, and you know, having being part of a program now for you that has been there and has, you know, gotten to deep points in the playoffs. Yes, and, sir. you know, you think back, you're playing at a young age. Now you are one of the older right. ones. You're looked at as a leader of this yes, team. Sir. Um, you know, is there pressure on you? Do you feel that pressure sometimes of having to step up and be the leader for this group? I don't feel pressure, but I would say that this year is def has definitely been a harder year for leadership wise, just because, you know, the past couple of years I've had those older people with me, kind of helping me along the way. But like this year, we're so young. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had to, at the beginning of the year, I've had to learn how to be patient with all the young guys and that kind of stuff. And 
Um, and that's just one of the things that you go through as being a leader and you're never perfect. And so, you know, Coach Chase, he helped, he's been helping me along the way and that kind of stuff. And I think that after we got past those couple um, first two weeks, three weeks of the season that I've really gained patience towards how our team has to be. You know, looking ahead and, and you know, knowing what's ahead for you guys, what are areas that you kind of feel like y'all need to improve at in order to set yourself up for a chance right. at the state um, title? You know, we, we go four possessions, score, score, score. And then we go and we have two bad turnovers the next two times down. Just being more consistent. We, hit, we have some really high spots and then we go really low. So we got to be more consistent all uh, across the game and that kind of stuff. But yes, sir. Well, Sarah Ashley, appreciate you, you uh, yes, taking time to join me, and uh, it's good seeing you again. Good Congratulations you on what you've been able, you know, to do so far this Thank season, you. and good luck to you guys uh, you going so forward. Yes, sir.